Euphrates River is extremely drying up in Iraq and Syria. This is the update of 2023. You can see from recent satellite image, it shows clearly that the Euphrates River is extremely drying up. This picture is from 2021. The cave under the Euphrates River has just been sealed up. A long lost mystery has now been revealed. Imagine a cave hiding beneath the ageless flow of the mighty Euphrates River, hidden for thousands of years until now. What secrets does it hold? What are the stories inscribed on its walls? Join us as we explore the cryptic depths of this subterranean cave, guided by cutting-edge research and the thrill of solving history's most intriguing riddles. For millennia, human societies have been traversing the Euphrates River, which ranks as the 15th longest river in Asia. This mighty river has profoundly influenced the history and progress of various civilizations in the surrounding area. Its significance lies in being a crucial water source, a means of transportation, and a driving force behind agricultural productivity. The earliest traces of human settlements along the Euphrates River date back to 7000 BC, specifically in the region known as Mesopotamia, situated between the Euphrates and Tigris rivers. Often referred to as the cradle of civilization, Mesopotamia, part of the Fertile Crescent, played a pivotal role in the emergence of the world's earliest human civilizations. Its name, Mesopotamia, originates from the Greek words meaning land between the rivers, highlighting its fertile and prosperous nature. Throughout ancient times, societies relied heavily on the river for irrigation and transportation. As early as 2000 BC, the Sumerians took significant steps to control and distribute the river's water for agricultural purposes by constructing an extensive network of canals and levees. Moreover, they harnessed the power of boats and ships to facilitate trade, communication, and military endeavors. The Euphrates River served as a vital link between these ancient civilizations and neighboring regions, enabling the exchange of commodities commodities and ideas. Over the centuries, various empires such as the Persians, Greeks, and Romans exerted control over the Euphrates River, utilizing it as a strategic transportation route for the movement of people, goods, and armies. Even today, the Euphrates River continues to be of paramount importance in the region, sustaining activities like irrigation, hydroelectric power generation, and transportation. The course of the Euphrates River does not host prominent port cities, but it does have cities along its banks that play essential roles in trade and transportation. The Euphrates River is dotted with numerous dams that serve crucial functions, providing hydroelectric power, irrigation, flood control, and water storage. Among these, the Ataturk Dam stands out as one of the largest dams on the Euphrates, located in southeastern Turkey. Completed in 1990, it ranks as the third largest dam worldwide. In the same vein, the Topka Dam, a major structure on the Euphrates, opened in 1973 and has been a subject of geopolitical disputes, witnessing battles and bombings. Moving into western Iraq, the Haditha Dam takes the spotlight as the second largest hydroelectric power generator in Iraq, finished in 1987. Sadly, its construction led to the flooding of the ancient archaeological site of Useya, where Japanese archaeologists discovered a multi-chambered room with a staircase and terracotta lion statues dating back to around 1700 BC. One pressing issue the Euphrates River faces is pollution caused by various human activities. Industrial discharges, agricultural runoff with fertilizers and pesticides, untreated sewage, and the debris of ongoing geopolitical conflicts contribute to water pollution in specific sections of the river. The instability in the region has led to a lack of infrastructure maintenance and inadequate wastewater treatment. While the Euphrates River has not completely dried up, it has experienced notable reductions in water levels, particularly during dry periods. These changes in water levels have raised concerns about reduced water availability in certain parts of the river, especially during times of drought. Such fluctuations can have significant implications for agriculture, ecosystems, and the livelihoods of communities that heavily rely on the river for water resources. The construction of dams and irrigation projects along the course of the Euphrates River has been a major contributing factor to the decrease in water flow. While these upstream projects serve essential purposes such as providing power, irrigation, and water storage for the communities upstream, they also disrupt the natural flow of the river, leading to reduced water downstream. Climate change is another significant driver behind the declining water levels of the Euphrates River. 
Shifts in precipitation patterns, increased evaporation rates, and rising temperatures have all had an impact on the river's flow. Variability in rainfall and snowmelt in the river's headwaters in Turkey have directly affected the overall water supply downstream. Combined, these factors have brought about the observed changes in the Euphrates River's water levels. The reduced water availability poses challenges to the sustainability of agriculture, ecosystems, and the well-being of communities along the river's course. To address these issues, it is essential to implement effective water management strategies, consider the environmental impact of infrastructure projects, and adapt to the changing climate patterns in the region. But the recent discovery of a long-sealed cave beneath the Euphrates River has generated immense excitement among archaeologists, historians, and religious scholars. The hidden cave is in Zakiku, untouched for thousands of years, offers a rare opportunity to gain valuable insights into the lives of ancient inhabitants. The unveiling of this mysterious cave opens the door to understanding various aspects of this ancient society that once thrived there. Through careful examination of artifacts, structures, and geological formations, researchers aim to uncover details about the daily routines, social structure, and economic activities of the people who inhabited this region in antiquity. This excavation has the potential to shed light on their domestic life, technological achievements, and craftsmanship. The cave's location in close proximity to the Euphrates River sparks intrigue about its potential religious and symbolic significance to the ancient inhabitants of Zakiku. In many ancient cultures, rivers held profound spiritual importance, seen as sources of life and spiritual connection. Thus, the cave's position near the river suggests the possibility of it being a site for religious ceremonies or sacred rituals. The darkness and enigmatic nature of caves often made them spaces for encounters with the divine, making it plausible that this cave had a special role in connecting the people of Zakiku with their spiritual beliefs and practices. As the excavation and analysis of this cave progress, the findings are anticipated to provide a rich understanding of the historical and cultural landscape of the ancient civilization that once flourished in the region. The revelation of this hidden cave has the potential to reshape our knowledge of the past and add a new chapter to the story of human civilization along the Euphrates River. The inscriptions, writings, and artistic representations found in the cave beneath the Euphrates hold immense importance in unraveling the language, beliefs, and governance of Zakiku, the ancient civilization that once thrived there. By deciphering these ancient texts and depictions, researchers hope to gain valuable insights into various aspects of their society, including communication, literature, governance, and religious practices. The inscriptions may contain administrative records, legal decrees, or inventories, shedding light on the city's governments and economic systems. Meanwhile, religious texts or hymns found within the cave may provide a deeper understanding of the pantheon of deities worshipped in Zakiku and their cosmological beliefs. Together, these findings can enrich our knowledge of the cultural and historical context of this ancient civilization that flourished along the Euphrates River. While the discovery of the cave offers exciting opportunities for historical understanding, it also calls for careful consideration and diplomatic handling of any potential geopolitical implications related to the prophecy of a mountain of gold beneath the Euphrates River. Hey, thanks for joining us today. If you found this video as compelling as we did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel.